So today we're in Sacramento and I would like to interview Phyllis Thomas, who's a Navy veteran and a wonderful artist. Phyllis, can you tell me about some of this beautiful artwork you have here and what inspired you to become an artist? Uh, first of all, welcome to Vibrant Nature and Universe Sensations. I've all my life, I've loved to celebrate nature. I was uh, uh, amazed with its marvel its amazement and its interesting thing ever since I was seven. I used to paint little butterflies after I catch them. Uh, my mom noticed I scarred up her beautiful armoire and discovered art was my calling. And, and since then, I incorporated in the Navy, setting people's mind at ease during these intense uh, transactions and deadlines that are due. And so in between those deadlines and as we're getting the projects done, I would have my fellow shipmates to get into art and get into the relaxed therapy only art can give. And so these are called fabric art that are derived from the images of like this reproduction here, which is called love. Love is from our original works and this is a reproduction. And love is a simple story behind it. The tree root is the foundation of love. The air and water supports the life of love. The vegetation feeds the love, thus the seas, and the gripping of the warmth brings forth the seas, which is the entire byproduct of love. And this one here is a fabric of an original art called Water is Life, another vibrant nature and universal sensation series which speaks of water, how it impacts our lives, how it keeps us vibrant, and how it keeps us going, and at the same time, its beauty magnified us as far as the inspiration and the respect we have for nature and its grace. So there it is. And we are here today with the vetart.org yes. organization. And can you speak to how they have impacted your life as a veteran? Oh, absolutely. Go to Steve Dilley of Vet, Vet Art and basically he provides the beautiful settings that we can tell stories as per our art. How art empowers us and impact our very existence and get us over the hump of any ongoing conditions of PTSD, MST, and all other related matter. That art has been a very, very vital, how should I say, platform for me to present my art, to tell my story, and to be who I am and to keep practicing art. And as long as the vet art has been there, we, I'm happy to provide ideal art to empower others to evoke their senses. Hi, I'm Phyllis Thomas Miller, veteran, Coronado Island, Vietnam, eight years logistics lieutenant and uh, serving in the Navy, uh, again, for eight years prior to that. Art has been my passion, and after the military, art has became a passion with a purpose. And the need for it stems from myself as well as those that near me, around me, and behind me, and in front of me. As art, as I experienced since the military, has empowered more ways than one. Art is basically not an essential as far as my world is concerned and art has touched me in many folds from gaining an understanding of a community, bridging the communities of veterans and civilians, and also through art, the, creativ the creativity of it, manifestation of various uh, dichotomy of diversity of people across this great nation. Art belongs within my realm of interpretation, my closeness with nature and all that nature represents. I created an art series known as Vibrant Nature and Universe Sensations. This is where I get really excited because the glorious of nature and the Almighty that embellish us with the gratitude and the evoking powers of nature is why I created Vibrant Natures and Universe Sensation, a celebration of life and nature and its grace. In the various forms of art, I even use nature within my captive subject, first cousin, Florence Griffith Joyner, known as Flojo, to us growing up as first cousins, Dee Dee. I created a painting called 
Jill's flow with a magnetism of nature and her gift of speed and elegance on the track field created a whole new surrealism of nature and human resource, which is what the dynamics she had left upon us as her legacy. Another art I created is called Man and Energy. Man and Energy is a symbolic gesture of the pulsating energy once nature and the universe becomes one with man, balancing of the respect for our planet, the universe, and our environment. So I created Man and Energy. Another painting that is dear to my heart is called Love. I use love as part of nature. The tree of the foundation of roots is the foundation of love. Air and water brings the ever-breathing life of love. The vegetation feeds and nourishes love. And the seeds, which is the byproduct of birth, is the byproduct of love. With the fire of a grip to bring warmth, to bring forth the seeds of love, to expand it new life, which is I call love. Another favorite is Universe Travels, which in, in a whole universe between speed, light, and man, I envision a still shot of the pulsating energies of flowing, of enigmatic colors flowing while man is in motion, which is why I call it universe, universe sensation is known as uh, the, the travels of light and it's called universe travels. And then after universe travels, I created another one called um, My Man and Eternal. So in short term, Man's Eternal, which is from day one of man to the evolving evolution of man, I created the nature and the, the famous scenes of the great libraries of Alexandria, the great minds back then who laid the foundation for us today. Another piece of work that I created is Cave of Perception. In the pre-dawn, I captured the caves in the Arizona deserts. By morning dawn, looking through the light of nature, it takes on a whole new world, which is what nature is all about. Nature is limitless and forever giving, and we need to surround ourselves with it, understand it, and embrace it. So my art gives the power to evoke the senses. My art goes beyond words. And so therefore, welcome to Vibrant Nature and Universe Sensation. I'm Phyllis Thomas Miller. Thank you.